optimistic because not only has the dialogue changed, not only has the conversation changed, but the effort and energy of the global community is very focused on solutions. Each of us have a different story for what brought us here today. There is an inflection point and we're sitting in the epicenter right now. We're also, of course, seeing and sitting here today because there's an outrage, you know, against discriminatory and unsafe workplaces from the bottom up. We've had a lot of painful stories shared this last year. We can either take those and press for progress, or we can let this slide away. Sexual harassment is in many ways in our industry an effect of discriminatory landscape. What are those key things that need to change? And what are the levers that we need to pull to change that. Together, we have to articulate a better business case for gender and diversity in this industry. We live in a time where there's just so much um, technology and data and information that we can harness to help us navigate successfully um, so that we make sustainable progress. To see men actually there attending and engaged as well, and then the talking to each other, not at each other, it was, was quite refreshing. I'm very, very happy to see Mercy taking a lead in these conversations. What is the data telling us? What's actually working? And again, sometimes more importantly, what's not working? Society and businesses are learning as they go. I think resources and partnerships are aligning in favor of a solution. It's not just an initiative, it's really a movement. And I think that it's not just media, it's for all industries. We do all of this because we believe in the power of stories, um, those small moments when a film touches you and creates that spark. We can relate to these stories, you know, and, and then connect it to data that supports like what we're feeling. That is ultimately the sort of vaccine against the behavior that we've seen. If you can look at diversity and inclusion the same way you look at any other core business process, whether it's a sales process, producing a movie, a supply chain, tech, with the same diligence, then we can actually make progress. This is something that we are all in together, and when you take the power of everyone, then you move the needle. The most important thing is courageous leadership at every level. We need to be sure that new talent will find a way of breaking through and being seen. Let's move from that mindset of feeling powerless into powerful. I'm optimistic about the future for women and media entertainment because I do believe that the industry acknowledges that they are truly at the epicenter of change. That not only can they change this industry, but they actually have the opportunity to change the world.